is the inflation number is still pretty high. So even if the rate of change is 20 basis points lower, just below 9%, that's still a pretty high number. So I would expect the monetary authorities to continue on the path that they've been, um, you know, of late, and so long as employment doesn't change. You know, so the monetary authorities are certainly trying to tackle it. Um, whether or not the fiscal authorities will be successful in tacking, tackling inflation, and I'm referring to the Inflation Reduction Act that they just passed, I think it's really a misnomer um, in that it will do very little to curb inflation. In terms of uh, the outlook for the economy as a whole, are you in the camp that, that expects the U.S. to avoid a recession? And, and where do you think the market is uh, at the moment? Where's there room for surprise? Well, we're already in a, a technical recession. And so um, I, I actually feel that we, we will certainly see uh, more recessionary pressures. Um, you know, there, there are some positives in the market. Honestly, you know, the, the earnings season has been a little better than expected. Now, keep in mind, although a number of companies have reported so far in the S&P, we still have about a third of the consumer discretionary sector yet to report. So a lot of retail names. Um, so when we saw Walmart earlier in the earnings season, we saw a negative reaction in the market, if you remember. And so we still have some of that coming. Remember, the retail sector is going to tell you a lot more about the consumer. We're going to hear about inflation impact on the consumer. We're going to hear about energy prices and the impact on margins with a number of companies. So I would say just continue to hold on um, hold on to, to your, your seatbelts uh, as we go through this over the next week. But if we, if we get some positive reaction there, I think that that would be good for the coming months. But, but do you think we've bounced back too, too fast? I mean, we talked about earlier in the show about the Nasdaq nearly coming out of bear market yeah. territory. Do you think that means uh, investors should, should just take a little bit of short-term profits? Well, like, I'm not a short-term trader. I mean, my, my, my clients uh, want me to advise them over the long term. Um, but I will say, you know, on, on that comment alone, um, this is, has been a little too much of a snapback rally. I don't think there's anything necessarily from the tech earnings that would show me that, you know, the Nasdaq should have rallied as much as it has um, in the broader market as well. Mm -hmm. Now, again, there's some, been some positive signs from, from earnings in, in things like the energy sector, et cetera. But um, in terms of the overall, you know, tech mm -hmm. earnings, there was nothing that I've seen that would, would really constitute a, you know, a full substantiated rally for, you know, for the long term to see it continue. Patrick, I've left it a bit late. You've got 20 seconds to outline the case for Canadian Pacific. Well, I still like the class one rails because they're getting pricing. Pricing, it's good in an inflationary environment. Um, and I think the big change year over year is that we're seeing better results from the grain markets in Canada. So that's good for, good for those companies and it's good for the volumes um, for Canadian Pacific over the next year.